Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be catching up with some ipsies from December and January. So hopefully my lighting isn't too terrible. I was just setting up for this video and I knocked over one of my box lights and <laughs> smashed the light bulb. So that's exciting. So we only have light coming from one direction. So maybe it'll be artsy. I hate it. Not really. But we will get into these boxes and see what's inside. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for engagement. It really helps me out. And let's give it a go. So our mostly useless little packet of paper is telling us it is from January. So one piece of useful information. Thanks, Ipsy. We have the useless paper that does not cushion... We have the useless paper that does not cushion our eyeshadow at all. And then we have some products. We have Saturday Skin Apple and Peach. What is this? Gentle Cleanser. Interesting. It doesn't necessarily smell apple and peachy, but it does have like a soft, sweet scent, which is nice. All right, I like that. Next, I definitely like this. Brushes with my weird lighting. <laughs> um, these are Game Beauty Eyes on Me for Essential Eyeshadow Brush Set. I like. There they are, very soft. These ones are very firm. I do like these types of brushes. Oh, they even have a little finger grip right here. Nice. Next we have pink lips. Is that the brand? Soft matte contour stick. I don't like that brand name. It's weird. There we go. A contour stick. But especially in the light it looks almost like no contour. Because that's the shade of my skin. Still have some remnants of eyeshadow from my last video. Actually, I think that's a pretty good shade. I still have not tried cream bronzer or cream contour. <laughs> it still scares me a little bit that I'll like get too much and it'll be like. But I should try that. It's a really good shade. That is a lovely shade. Next we have. <gasps> Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer in the shade one. <laughs> Look very pale. I need concealer. I was just thinking I needed to buy some. I didn't know I had one. <laughs> Sitting in a box. Here we go. Shade that is practically white. Put it down here next to my contour. These lights are making it look even worse. Well, this light, how I had to position it. But I'm very excited to get that. I needed it so much. Next we have Iconic London Enrich and Elevate Eyeliner. Oh, is this a black eyeliner? You just wear so much eyeliner. In the shade black. Oh, the kind that shakes. Why does it have two sides? Okay, well there's a fat side and a skinny side, but I made them look both fat. Uh, it probably would be useful, I just wasn't very good with it. And I love this type of eyeliner. Last, ooh, have a palette. This is the Signature Palette Luxe, Signature Luxe Palette by Ofra. I need to work on their font choices slash spacing. It feels like you're writing gibberish. Pop the champagne and your eye looks with this palette of metals and mochas. There we go. They're not kidding. That looks nice. I usually like Ofra. Get rid of this. Ah, their pans are too deep. My nails are too long. Oh my gosh. I am so impressed with this formula, which is just 
kind of a good formula. <laughs> I just did an MLM eyeshadow video and I'll have to go watch it. I was not impressed. But that is that whole box and we are on to what I assume is December. Coming in useful again, says December. Useless. Okay, our first, oh look, it's like a theme. Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is a cream bronzer in the shade Sunkist. This is gonna be the exact same box, but like they mix up the brands. There it is. This one definitely has a more yellow undertone. I am thinking, oh my gosh. Sorry, I shouldn't leave that on my leg. My leg is really bad today, it's shaking. I think this is more my shade than this. This has too much yellow in it. Next we have Ciate London Vitamin Boost Plumping Primer. Get backwards. I did order a new light bulb, so this will be the only video that has the weird lighting. It smells good. It also has been leaking all into the lid. I don't know. If that's a good thing. It's not. Oh, I don't like the way it feels. It feels like slick. Maybe it goes away. Oh, not for me. Okay. That's all right. Next we have, oh, I think I added this. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. It is very tiny. This is in the shade Dark Brown, which I have it on my brows right now, but I have one the whole size. This is teensy. It is this big. And then look, there's the, okay, so mine isn't the precision tip, which I don't think I need. I just kind of like color them in so there's not holes. Look at this spoolie. I do love it. This is great for travel. <laughs> It'll work. I knew it was small. I didn't know it was that small. <laughs> Next we have Ciate London Extraordinary Brightening Under Eye Protector. I do need help with my under eyes. I do like Ciate London. I do hate packaging. Well, two out of three isn't bad. I mean, I love packaging, but I hate like boxes. This is in the shade light. I don't know why I smelled it. <laughs> I expected it to smell like anything, but it doesn't, which is probably good. Um, dang it, I can't get my nail in it. I'm getting my nails done soon and they'll be shorter. Okay, so it's just, that will actually work really well on my dark circles. It's just sort of a peachy color and that is exactly what I need. Awesome. Next we have MOTD eye brushes. I can put off washing my eye brushes even longer now. This one has the one with the little spoolie on the end, which drives me crazy because I keep them in the cup. So there they are. They're fun green. I like the feel of the other ones better. I might actually give these to my daughter. And last, we have something by REM Beauty. This is, what is this? What is that? Okay, so the product is Midnight Shadows. The description is eyeshadow palette, and the palette is Principessa. I like the container. It looks like a spaceship. Oh, it's super cute. Look at that. Okay, Principessa eyeshadow palette. Yeah, so I guess that's the name, and Moonlight Shadows is like the line? I don't know. Just put them on my hand. Oh my gosh, eyeshadows that work. I'm feeling spoiled. Okay, the black didn't work very well, but that's because I had another shadow on my finger, I think. These are fun. I like them. I like the payoff. I'm smearing other colors on top of them. But I like the case. It has like that magnetic closure that's satisfying. Um, I'll definitely give this a go. I'm excited. Got some eyeshadows, 
some of the stuff isn't like necessarily my thing but overall I thought these were two pretty good boxes so let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I will try to stay more on top of these boxes so that I get the videos out right on time <laughs> instead of keeping a stack of boxes over there which I currently have one two three four five six more boxes to open three of them go in one video so there is that uh, <laughs> that will at least consolidate it but I will try to catch up and be more on top of things I think I've got most of my health stuff figured out and I'll be able to stay awake more often so that is good as always let me know what you think and I will see you in the next video bye